Howdy everybody, this is Brian, Indiana Creek Gold. We're down here at our staging area. And a video or two ago, I talked about how it gets really hard in Indiana to prospect in the fall, especially uh, run a sluice because of the leaves. I mean, look at the trees. I mean, most of them, or not most of them, three quarters still have mostly green leaves on them. You know, some starting to fall. A lot of them are really pretty. That maple tree right there with the red and orange and yellow. Uh, maple over there and pretty red leaves. But uh, look at my creek. Water's really, really low. Not much water flow at all. Pretty much just standing water, as you can tell. So I. Uh, up uh, under the bridge we could run a sluice we could maybe figure something out here at the waterfall but uh we're going to do something that i've been wanting to check out for a good long while actually uh we have found gold in my driveway we have found gold 100 150 yards up on the hill up here 100 150 yards away from the water 60 feet in elevation probably uh, we have found gold in the rocks at Rylite which there's a big chunk of it right there uh, there's a tree that has it's been down since I've been here it's been down for a long long time just up here uh, and this right here on you see it's all flat that's our property over there. Our property goes up on the other side of that bridge. And then up through there. And then takes a turn up the hillside to the end of the guardrail up there. Uh, but, and it's, you know, flat over here. Opens up more downstream. Because uh, this used to be a giant riverbed. So... I mean, this up here was the, the bottom, basically, or the, yeah, basically the, the creek bed, probably. Uh, this got cut down to bedrock at the end. Uh, probably glaciers pushed a lot of the stuff out, cut down to bedrock, too. But we have found gold, like I said, up on the hill. We have found gold up here. We dug by that tree, found gold. But there's that big old tree that's fell down up here and its roots are packed full of dirt. So we're gonna go get material from there. I got my microphone with me, we'll get it on. And we're gonna dig some material out of there and uh, see if we can find gold in my trees too. So let me get stuff gathered around and uh, we'll head on downstream and see what we can do. Okay, here's our tree. Uh, waterfall is right up here and uh, we have done really good crevicing I mean the almond just upstream there's a crack the almond led me to a nice pocket of gold right over there uh, that one time but we have I've done some panning out around here and there's not a lot of material down in there and I've not found a whole lot of gold uh, down in the hole, but it gets blown out so bad down through here. Uh, it rages when it floods. But let us check out. This tree has been down for a long, long time. Uh, we find some oyster mushrooms on it a couple times a year. The tree mushrooms, really good eating. But you can tell it's been down and rotting for a long time. Uh, you can see all this bedrock there's layered bedrock breaking off all up through here okay uh you can see this tree had set on top rooted on top of this loose bedrock uh probably why a lot of it is actually busted up here it probably peeled a bunch of it loose when it fell uh, but you can see like i said it was sitting on these slabs because these slabs and still laying flat or down 
like all these are stood straight up where they pulled up however many years ago when this tree went over and you can see up in here chunks of that bedrock all up in these roots uh, but there's also pockets of dirt up in here right up there and this is a big ass briar bush we're gonna have to watch out for them do something about that maybe uh but yeah so we're gonna get some of that dirt that real hard dirt and break it up around here and then uh we might try to peel some of this bedrock loose right here and get some material from there and uh We'll look around, see if there's any dirt on the front of this. Not really. It's all been washed out over the years. I think what's up here is just, huh? is that right there? Who are you there? Yeah, we'll get some of that material. But, uh, yeah, that's all we're looking at. We're going to get as much material, probably half a bucket or so, uh, of material from up around here. And... So we can find some gold. So yeah, that's our plan. So let me uh see if I can set a tripod up out here, sort of point pointing this direction, and see if we can record that way. Okay, I think that should do it. Uh we're gonna set the bucket down here and Trial, we're going to trial our material off into the pan and then dump it in the bucket. Seems uh, like an easier option. Here. So, A lot of uh, bigger rocks in here. And I don't know how good you can see that, but obviously a bunch of wood in there. So I'm going to chuck some of that piece of bedrock out of here, the bigger ones anyway. Try to. And some of the big pieces of wood, which they should float off, I would think. Should be looking for fossils, I guess. All right. All right. More, a lot more of the decayed wood in there. Almost some of it was uh, the stuff. I, I, I'm not used to having my back to the camera away from it talking, I guess. Uh, 
So I got into some clay right here. And I apologize for that. Like I said, I'm still getting used to it. But there's some chunks of gray stuff here that uh, looks like, and I'll, I'll hold some of it up in front of the camera, like dried up clay. And I got into some here up, but you can see where I'm pointing. That was like the clay too. So, all right, I'm going to try to get up here under these briars. Get this wood out of here. And uh, get some of this right here. There's a bunch of gravel right in here. Ow! Shit! Yow! Sorry for the profanities, but man, them briars grabbed onto me hard. These are the big uh, hook wire or wild rose bushes. And went, ow! They're like fishing hooks. Oh, I'm over that. Let's try to chip this stuff out here. Like this right here seems like the dried up clay too oh yeah it definitely is i'm getting into uh actual clay right here i'll show you i'm having to cut it out of there Right there, I don't know how good you can see it. That is a dried up clay right there. Layers of it. We'll have to bust that stuff up real good. Get it good and wet. Oh, yeah, that's a piece of good stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's still got a little dampness to it. Bunch of more of this chunks of decaying wood in there. Yeah, a bunch of, I guess I can sort of just crumble them up that clay layer. Ancient clay layer. Oh yeah. I had the uh, Damn, we should have brought sluice down here. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got right there. Almost half a bucket. Uh, let's go ahead and Ah, them briars tore me up. I hate digging in them briars. It's more the thought of it. But, uh, looks like there's some more of that dried up clay right there next to that slab of bedrock. So, uh, let me set this down here and hopefully it's pointing in the right direction. Back it out so. And, uh, yeah, let's go get another pan out there and bleed a little more. Uh, hopefully it's worth it. Uh, more of those, uh, like, dirt clods. There's some good gravel right here. More dried up clay. That stuff's hard. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to break that stuff up. Uh, we'll get it out. Uh, I, I just found a geode up in the tree. I do believe, or it might just be one of the nodules, bedrock nodules. 
Alright. It's like a deal to me, though. Bonus. I'll forget and leave one down here, I'm sure. More slabs of that layered clay. Bed comes to bedrock. Trying to break these dirt clods up so I don't got stuff like concrete. We could put that stuff in the damn crusher. That's why I'm going to use them. Big rock and uh, do just that. A bunch of those bedrock nodules. Yeah, this rock is doing the job on that wad of clay. I don't beat a rock through the bottom of my XP tan here. Yeah, I've got the XP today. You're not used to seeing me use that much. I like it. Uh, I like them. I like my hex pans too. Uh, I like my Garrett Super Sluice. I'm not even sure where it's at. But uh, I like it for moving a lot of material. This does pretty good for moving a lot of material. The hexes don't do bad either for moving uh, material, bigger material. All right, that's a lot of panning to do. So, uh... I'm going to get some water and uh, dump in that bucket and see if we can get it worked around a little bit. Just make it a little damp. Oh, this stuff floats horribly. So, I want the dry stuff hitting wet stuff and floating away probably be a good thing. And this stuff is just turn into mud. Oh, that's going to be horrible. Yeah, this is going to be a freaking mess. We should have got the sluice out for this. Take muddy rocks. Yeah, this is going to be... A, this is mud pie stuff you make as a kid. With all the dirt around there that was in it. And uh, the wood... Yum -o. All right, we're going to get our plastic scooper here. Uh, let's go find this rock. Let me shut the phone off, and uh, we'll get moved up here to where we can do some painting. All right. That's what I was talking about. All that wood mixed in with that stuff. Yeah, it sort of made a paste. It's about the consistency of a drywall bud. I don't know how well this stuff's going to pan out. <laughs> pan out. But I guess... We will set the hell down here and uh, find out if our pan don't float away first. Look at that stuff. All right, let's see what uh, happens here. As we expected, the wood's sort of uh, floating off there. A 
<laughs> how dirty we made the water already. We'll clog this whole pool up. I'm sure by the time we're done. Alright, let's pick some of these big rocks out of here. I mean, actually, it worked down pretty quick, so I think half of it's wood. I'll go ahead and run this down a little more here. Rocks out of there. Looks like there's some heavy showing up. If that stuff wasn't deep clay, I'm sure it held heavies, and I would think some gold can move this thing up. Look at all that stuff for you. Nasty. God, I hope we find some gold after it, all this. All right, uh, yeah, this is a mess. This is gonna take a little bit, and uh, I could probably run it down faster with uh, two hands but I guess we could have a peek here and maybe see if there's any gold popping through Still got too much water in there. Now I'm dumping water in my boots. That looks good. Lucky freaking there. <sighs> Two pieces. There's another piece right there. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Surrounded by gold. All right, y'all get the gist of it. Uh, I guess I shouldn't reveal that. Hell, hopefully, don't people don't uh, bail now. Uh, now that we know we found gold, but let me put my phone up so I ain't worried about dropping it. Let me two hand this stuff, and I'll just keep running it down until there's a little bit in the pan, and see if we got a smile in there or not. Uh, it's definitely supremo material, and we find that flood gold all up in that bank, quite a bit of it. So, makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's get this ran down. We'll be back. All right, we're down to the last of the nasty, nitty gritty. I am really looking forward to seeing what's in this pan. Uh, we know we got two pieces down there, so. Uh, whoa. Two hand was easier because uh, you can see when I'm just rolling it around, you can see all the wood. Well, not all of it, but a lot of that wood just sort of floats up out of there. Uh, that's what half that material was was wood that had decayed and got mixed in with that material over the years. 
there is plenty of heavy as you can see now how dark that stuff is so we need to definitely take our time handing that stuff out there Well, look, that right there isn't heavy. So that's just the dark. Yeah. Look, we'll float that right off there. There's definitely heavies in there, though. I see at the bottom of the pan when I pan this stuff off. But we keep working that. Uh, so we're working blonde sands up. We're working uh, decayed wood up. So that's a first for me. Pick a few of these big rocks out of here. Where's the nodules that grow on the bedrock? Um, might be baby geodes, but I think they're just because we see them when we dredge down the bedrock, and there's a lot of them just, just exposed. Get this stuff around from the edges here. You gotta be careful. I wash. Uh, more stuff into the pan. It's starting to float away now, though. I can pick up about as much stuff as I washed out. I don't watch it. I keep shaking a lot because I don't want to work that stuff. Uh, damn. Y'all know. Well, most of you, I'm sure. Few more rocks out. Try to get the rocks free of that material there. Wash them off a tad bit. There's a good chance you drug some gold up there. If there's that much in the pan, which I'm hoping. Yeah, I'll uh, probably post this up tomorrow morning, midday sometime, which is Sunday. Hang out for a while. I've been slacking on the videos. I'm right there. I'm like 116 hours away from having my 3,000. Uh, be able to have members, YouTube store. Uh, get like super chat sticker stuff yeah I'm excited and I got an email from YouTube uh, congratulating me on uh, the 400,000 some odd views you know getting close to half a million views uh, subscribers and uh, hours and emailed me a thing to help get on the fast track to my 4,000 hours to get uh, actually monetized. So uh, I haven't even went to the link and checked it out yet, but sort of excited about that too. Definitely work on it. Took, I think we're working on five years now. It took a while to get here. here flip those rocks and uh, drag them helps you out too a little bit yeah you can see a little bit heavy showing up there all right carnet sand all right uh, let's do our uh, swirl Do a tap, tap, and uh, I 
Let me zoom this in a little bit and get rid of some water. Kind of massive. There we go. Too bad right there. Watching for any gold. Turn around. Nope, that's worse. See if we can get rid of a few more of these uh, rocks here. All right, look. Let's throw the piece of gold down. That's a good sign. And looky there. And there. I think we uh, are into some decent freaking gold out of the tree. Looking like. Popping up there. Look at that. Micro gold showing up. Gold in the freaking trees in Indiana. More gold. Damn, we're going to have to. Uh, Work around that tree some more. Look at that. A garnet. Maybe a diamond right there beside the garnet. And a bunch of gold. I'm starting to wash down the pan. Uh, let me two hand this and we'll check this shit out. All right. Look at that. Pretty orange gold from the tree. A lot of that micro gold in there, too. I can get it to focus. A little wiry looking piece there. Yeah, some really orange gold. A little flake. A couple little decent. A little chunky gold in the freaking trees in Indiana. Got a piece of back out here, right there. See that gold floating right there? It floats like a boat. That's why you use soap. Look at all that gold floating now. All it stuck together. Look. A bunch of it globbed together right there. A bunch of pieces. That's weird. Ain't no, look at all that floating. It all like stuck together and is floating. But yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gold and the freaking trees. That sticks together. Why well, it's got mercury in it or something. Oh, I dealt up with that. Uh, cool. We're going to get that stuff sucked up, and I was going to dig, or I'm going to dig, a uh, bucket of material for Beerman's. I've got a couple boxes ready for him, but I've got one more box to send. So, uh, I'm thinking we go over here under the tree and dig a bunch of material around there on the ground and then where that uh, them slabs of bedrock's at. Uh, yeah, sounds like a plan. He should, should be able to know the difference. Uh, 
in it. So cool. That's my plan. We got the bucket. It's a little wet. It'll be all right. Uh, that's where your next box is coming from. I had Beerman's been buying several boxes. I don't know how many they bought. Uh, I get anywhere from about 35 to, well, it ain't going to get 50 now because the dirt was wet then, but about 35 pounds in one of the large flat rate boxes of material. Uh, and I try to throw some geodes, fossils, stuff like that in the boxes every time too. So anybody's interested in those, uh, get with me. Info is usually in the description on how to get a hold of me. But, uh, yeah, gold in the trees in Indiana. Uh, hell, if you want to stick around for a little bit, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the microphone off and get my case back on here and uh, go over here with the trowel and dig us uh, part of a bucket of material if you want to hang out for a little bit more. If not, I totally understand, and I appreciate you all greatly. See you on the next one, or hang out for a little bit. All right, we are back. No microphone. Uh, this stuff's going to be a mess, and I apologize for that, I guess. But actually, I'm going to try to uh, just break some of these chunks of clay stuff out of here in uh, one piece as much as I can. Set that stuff in there. Is that dried up clay, I believe. This stuff right here has got a bunch of gravel in it. mostly wood. Here's a bunch of chunks of that material there. And uh, I think he has uh, beginning prospector type classes going on out there. There's a lot of first time prospectors and a lot of kids. I and mean, he does a lot uh, for the community out there as a whole, but uh, a lot, a lot for and with kids. Uh, God, stuff is packed in there. That just hurt my bad shoulder. But yeah, go check out Beerman's Prospecting. Uh, it's on Facebook too. Always post some cool stuff on there. And I greatly appreciate him uh, I said, thanking me on the dirt. in front of this a little bit. We might be able to flip that up out of there. I want that material underneath that. In between those layers right there is all we want. Let me use my left hand to pull. Howdy. That's what we're looking for. Really, those nodules. Basically crevicing up here. Uh, 
where the water used to run. Probably hundreds of years ago. Or thousands or millions, whatever the case may be. I should have brought the other freaking brick of trial. There's another chunk to get down under it. Good stuff. And this stuff's wet on the bottom. Uh, it'll be stuck there. I'll just rinse that out. Make sure we get everything. But yeah, this should be some fun, dirty stuff. We know there's some gold in it. Oh, look, there's another big old chunk right there. Play. All right, y'all get the gist, and uh, if he wants to, uh, when they get to this box, he can show them exactly where it came from and uh, what kind of gold we found up in this stuff. Speaking of gold in this stuff. <laughs> Put up against here and uh, get some of these rocks out of here. There's a little gravel pocket right there. All right, but yeah, I'm going to continue on with this. Like I said, he can show the people where this material come from, what kind of gold they can look for. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Catch you on the next one. We found gold in a freaking tree.